Hey there, Prime Coders. Welcome back to Prime Coding. So today, I don't know what actually happened to Essential. Some day they are asking very hard problems, and some day they are asking very unique problems, and some day very easy problems. So recently, most of the people were continuously sending me their experience. So I got again the two sets of problem, which is typically different than other sets of problem. But I would say they again started asking the easy based problems, such as hash maps and stuff. But here we'll cover a unique set of problem, which I thought of sharing with you. So without wasting time, so this is a September 12th online assessment problems courses that we discuss here, which were asked by Essenger on in their on-campus placement drive for 2025 batch. So there is a request: do share your internal interview experience, coding experience with us, so that you can help your peers and juniors to prepare for the same. You can reach out to us on Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, email, or LinkedIn IDs. All the IDs links are provided in the description. You can just reach out and help your peers. Now, the very first problem, which is imagine you are a researcher developing an algorithm to predict the happiness of a particular machine component. Okay, so we need to predict the happiness of a machine component. The system constantly updates its state based on unique role. It transforms its states by taking each digit. Okay, so this is a task. Each digit of the current state squaring it okay so let's say if we have an digit we are squaring it summing these squares to form a new state okay so if we have 1 12 then we need to square each digit and we need to do the sum as well now it will give me a new state which is uh, 4 plus 1 is 5 so 5 is a new state here okay so this process repeats indefinitely your task is to monitor the system identify if the component reaches a stable which is happy okay so if my new state reaches a happy which is state one here but it is one okay so or if it returns an endless cycle of states okay so if it is happy when we get to know about it is happy or not by seeing the new state which means generated if it is one which means it's a happy state and if it is not we need we need to tell it's not happy so if the component reaches to one it's satisfied called as happy otherwise it falls into the repetitive cycle indicating a problem okay so great Design algorithm that def uh, determines whether the component will stabilize at this happy state or fall into a cycle. Okay, so similar problem we saw on the lead code, which is a happy number problem. You can just get on to the lead code, write happy number, you will find that problem. Okay, it's relatively same, I would say totally same. So as you can see, we have n equivalent to 19. So if number is happy, and when the number is happy, when the sum of all digits will give you one as a result. Okay, so as you can see, 19. So if you square 1 and 9 square, you will get 82. Similarly, if you square 8 square and 2 square, you will get 68. Then 6 squares, 8 square, you will end up getting 100. And if you square all the digits present in the 100, you will end up getting 1, which is the happy state. Okay, and the case, if I say when it is not a happy case, then what will happen? So if I tell you the happy case would be, let's say if my given number is 0. So whatever we can perform, we'll end up getting zero. So zero is not equivalent to one. So we need to return there as false. So this is a total program. Okay, so how we can think of this program if you get this into your OA. As in the constraint, this state that the n value will be always greater than one. Okay, so always greater than or equivalent to one. Fantastic. So what would be the approach? Now guys, if you solve the pattern based problem on numbers, you might have encountered the problem reverse a digit. Okay, this is a hint that I'm giving you. If you got the hint, please stop this video and start writing the code. Reverse digit or sum of digit if you have did this or it might be another like reverse a digit, reverse the sum of digit or reverse string if you have did two pointers approach or pointer approach or you might have traverse in the number of digit I would say length of digit or length of number like say if you have four two three one you need to return the length of four thousand three two hundred thirty one number okay so this is a hint that I want to give you so what we actually need to do here is there are few tasks usually create a task list according to that if that task can be solved using function try to use that otherwise create a wholesome problem okay so first task is to find the whether the number is happy or not okay so happy or not so yes so how I can find it if the square of all digit is equivalent to 82 
Okay, so for this is the question that I we need to do. This is not a task. So first task is to find the square of all digit present in a number. Okay, so what I will do, I will create a function for it. And what the function will do, I will try to grasp the last digit and how I can get it using the modulus operator because this pattern is asked by Accenture many times. If you are keep on following my coding series, you end up getting this pattern very easily. Okay, so how I can do it is let's say my number is this, so I need to fetch the digit. Okay, this is X. Okay, so I need to fetch that last digit. So how I can do it? X mod 10. It will give me the last digit. If you find a modulus, the remainder would be 9. Okay, so I will end up getting the 9. Now, I need to find the square of that digit and sum as well. So what I will do, I will create a sum variable which will get me the digit square. So I will write it as digit into digit or you can use power or try to avoid inbuilt function here. Okay, so digit into digit will give you the square of the current digit and it will immediately finding the digit sum as well. Okay, now I need to remove this. So what I will do is here, like we have 19, I will divide it by 10 so that the point will come. And if you are dealing with an integer data type, the decimal part would be removed and you are end up getting one. Okay, that's a case we need. So yeah, so now what I will do, I will modify my current digit dividing by 10 so that I can remove the last digit. Okay, so now until when I need to do this, until unless like while my x is greater than zero or not equivalent to zero or anything that you want to. Okay, so this will accumulate the digit sum and return it to me. So first task is resolved here. So first task is resolved here. So return sum. So this is a function that I will create to find the square of each digit sum. Okay, yeah, sum of square of all digits present in a number. So this function will do. Now, what is the second task, Aditya? As we got this, as we calculated the sum, like we got end up having 82. Now you need to perform this operation again. So if you not need to perform this operation again, again, I will uh, call this function from a main function. See, what I will do is I will call n, okay, of sum of squares, let me uh, write sum of squares, like let's say I create a function of sum of squares where I will pass this variable x. Now until when, until when I need to do this operation continuously, until unless I don't find my n is equivalent to 1. This, this should not be x, this should be n because we need to change my n continuously because first the n was 19, then my n become 82, then 68, then 100 and so on. Okay, so we need to tackle our n. Until unless my n is not equivalent to 1, I need to perform this operation again and again. Okay, before that, before that, there is a case as well. There is a case as well. What if, if you end up getting the same sum? Okay, let's say if I talk about zero, let's say my n value is zero here. So what happened is zero is not equivalent to one. Okay, so now n sum of square function has been called. Let's say this function is sum of square functions, sum of square functions. And you will start, okay, zero is greater than zero. No, it, it is not. So it will return sum. So now we're stuck into the infinite loop. Is Don't you think? Is it? So what I will do is I will create a set in which I will add up or append all the sums that I've seen so far. If my n not exist in my uh, storage or set, then only I will call my function again. Otherwise, it may be the chance I will stuck into the infinite loop. Okay. So what I will do is n should be not equivalent to one because if it is equivalent to one, I need to return. Okay. So now and what I need to set is do my n should not or not in set as this is pseudo code please mind it okay so set fantastic then only i need to perform this operation but before that i need to append my current num as well so please set dot append or push whatever you want to or add okay i would say add add would make sense set dot add n into u okay now if i encounter the same number again I will terminate my while loop and I will check in the last is return if whatever n we have to allow, please return is equivalent to one. If it is true, if it is false, I will get it here. Okay, so this is the pseudo code that I will tell you because there's a two task. First task is to find the square of the digit at quotient state and until when I need to do until unless I'm not getting ending up getting this digit square sum as one.
So load the thing. But there is a test case that you need to tackle is what if if you are continuously getting the same sum, then we need to terminate our main function while loop. So I'm terminating it. And the last check it. Oh, do we get one? Yes, yes, we got one. So return true. Otherwise return false. So this is a particular approach of this problem. I hope you got it. So if you know this particular approach, you can solve this types of problem. If this will ask you in your essential online assessment. Okay. Now. Shandeep, Shubham, Adesh, Varun, these are the candidates who recently cracked TCS Digital, Prime Ninja, as well as Cognizant, Cognizant and Capgemini roles. If you want to be one of them, just need to head on to one to one mock session. You will end up getting detailed technical sessions and HR manager role for comprehensive one hour session would be there where I will test your whole thing. Let it be coding, technical, communication, core subjects, resume based questions, everything. Then we'll talk about the HR problem as well. Now resume review will be given after the mock session and the personalized feedback on your mock session what are stuff that you are lagging in how you can represent yourself what stuff that you need to improve and how you can ace your interview and suggestions for improvement which will be roadmap mentorship guidance doubt solving and much more and the expert guidance on www.primecoding.in is the website that you need to visit and have the particular company plan will convert your interview opportunity to the offer letter and you will make your parents proud now let's discuss the python c++ uh, and Java code. You can find all this code into the description. There is a GitHub repo link which will take you to the repository where all the problems is stored. So do check that out. Okay. So Python. So Python, you can see we created a def happy function. Okay. In that I'm creating a sub function. Okay. But let's see the main function part. So created a scene set. Okay. Which will store all the occurrence of the sums that we keep on generating so that will not visit on a single sum again and again and make our while loop stuck into the infinite thing okay so n until this why n is not equal to one i need to proceed with everything and if my n is not in c then only otherwise i will stuck in infinite loop so scene dot add please add the current sum whatever you have now n is equal to sum of squares you are calling it again and reinitializing n at every call okay so now sum of squares now total equivalent to zero while x is greater than zero digit total plus same things that i told and returning in the last so that my n would be reinitialized re okay and the last please check if sometime my n becomes one like my while loops has been terminated when I, it will terminate when the current uh, sum is already exist in my scene list okay so return n equivalent to one and if that's the case it will return true or false to the function and you are printing the same okay so this is a particular thing that you need to do continuously this is the python code that we discussed and now let's talk about the cpp program okay which is the c plus plus similar thing creating a total okay finding out the digit square cell and ending up returning it so that my n could be reinitialized and while n is not equivalent to one and scene dot find is not equal to scene dot n which means it is not present in my set then only i will proceed otherwise i will not proceed next okay so return n equivalent to one which will tell you whether your current num whatever you have after terminating the while loop is that one or zero if it is zero which means your it is not a happy state if it is one which means it's a happy state okay so yeah this is the thing that we are currently dealing in c plus plus and in java also the code is pretty simple and similar and the definitions explanation is totally same uh, in as respect to python and c++ okay so you can head over to this because we are creating the set then same function while loop putting into the set get reinitialize my n and if my n is equivalent to one then doing the same stuff okay so yeah this is the whole program for the very first program probably okay. now if you want to prepare for tcs and qt the playlist is filled with a number of resources essential is continuously being filled with all these essential based portions problem sheets and interview experiences you can find all the cheat sheet for capgemini cognizant and tcs and qt for 225 on my channel okay and it is also uploaded on the telegram group if you are new to the telegram group rosebot is there who will, who will continuously send a message regarding the drive link which contains all the company wise notes okay you can just head on to the telegram group wait for the rosebot message it will definitely welcome you with the drive link click on it and you will get all the notes thanks for watching this video till now if you're watching do consider subscribing it like this video share with your friends so that they can also do something in the career and we'll meet you with a new video soon